Hey, what's up? It's Jake, and we're going to talk about locking and upgrading provider versions. It's a pretty easy one, um, but it's a nice little safeguard that I think everybody should be aware of and something that I have not been using yet. So we're going to start adding this into our regularly scheduled programming. <clears throat> so let's go take a look at, I just have this little network uh, folder that I was using. And let's close some of this stuff. All right, so in my main file, I just say, hey, I want to use this AWS provider, right? And it's assumed I'm using a Terraform provider because I'm using Terraform. But I don't really say what version of the AWS provider to use. And you can see here, if I hover over it, it says HashiCorp dash or slash AWS 3.63.0. And if you run a Terraform in it, it creates uh, this lock file and you can actually see the provider version. Um, and that's what I'm using. But let's say that I push this to Git, right? And then you do a pull or a clone and you um, are using different versions of stuff. Well, you can have all kinds of mess um, from that. So what you want to do is you want to you want to establish what versions of everything you want to use to make sure everything is consistent across the board. Because some of the provider documentation, depending on what version you use, will say, hey, um, you need to pass these input parameters, or you need to use this format, or you need to you know use this name of this function, and it might change from version to version. So um, what you can do is you can create a versions file. So my network folder here, I'm just going to create a new file and call it versions.tf. And then in here, I might say, uh, okay, so Terraform, and then I'm going to go required providers. Uh, let's see, get a line here. Random uh, source. All right, and this is where you're going to get into it. It's going to be HashiCorp, HashiCorp, random. Okay, and I might do like version 3.0.0. Okay, and then maybe after that, I'll do the um, AWS provider. And we want to do where's the source? The source is going to be uh, HashiCorp slash AWS, which we saw in the version, right? And then when I hovered over it for the version, I'm going to do, hey, anything greater than or equal to whatever version we want to do. So if I go to main and we go here, I can see it's on 3.63.0. So we look at the documentation. We say, hey, 3.0.0, anything higher than that, you're fine, as long as it's 3. something. as long as you're not using 2, right? Because that's totally a thing. A lot of people have 2. Um, and then uh, the these are my required providers, my Terraform providers. So I'm going to have random in AWS. But then I'm also going to have a required version of Terraform itself. And... Uh, what do I want that to equal? Well, in order to know, um, like let's say I'm just going to use myself as an example, you can just type Terraform version and it'll tell you what version of Terraform you're using. So I'm on version 0.14.7. So I'm just going to say, hey, anything over 0.14, we're good. Okay. Uh, I don't care what minor version you're on, as long as you're on major version 14. Okay. So. That's essentially what what we would do. So the version 3D 3.0 for the random provider, um, that that'll just download the random, and then you'll get download the AWS provider. And when it does this and it's downloading this, if you go into providers um, and under the dot terraform directory that it creates, you'll see all the binaries that it that it downloads. And when it whenever you need to to run something. Um, if you have an external provider, it's going to download this binary. And which binary it downloads is dictated by what version you say that you need. So that's why it's going to do this. And you can be as specific or non-specific as you want. And if you're not sure, you can always look at the lock file, and the lock file will have um, exactly what versions you're in it. Um, if you have these cool little um, highlighting capabilities, because I use the uh, uh, Terraform plugin in VS Code, um, you can hover over it, and it'll also tell you 
where what the provider is, uh, HashiCorp slash AWS, and then it's on version 3.63.0. So that's that's one way you can kind of look in there. Now we added we added this right. So if I do a Terraform in it, because I want to make sure I have all my download. Uh, my stuff downloaded. It's going to initialize the backend. It's going to reuse the AWS, but look, it's finding a new one. It says it's finding the HashiCorp random um, using previously installed, uh, and it's going to install the new random. And we get a key. It gives you a little text. It says, okay, you're good to go. Now, if I go to my lock file, I can see not only do I have uh, my AWS from before, but now I have this uh, HashiCorp random as well. So it, it'll download any providers. Note that this is going to bloat things up. So the more providers you use, the the, the more space this is going to take and, and potentially the longer it's going to take. So try to um, separate these as much as possible to make it, uh, make it as quick as possible. So that would be the initializing of the configuration. I could do an apply. Um, cause I just did, did all this. Let me just uh, check and be a good steward of my own. Yeah. See my versions was all jacked up of my own advice in using format and validate a lot. Uh, let's run a plan. It's probably not going to have to do anything. So I already created the network. I just created some new providers that I'm not even using. I'm just doing it as an example for you. Uh, so it's going to refresh our state and looks like we're good. So let's run and apply. And it's going to say, I don't need to do anything. Um, but at least you can just kind of see the process. And there you go. So then that's kind of going over um, the lock itself, you know, reading through that um, and the providers. So how do you upgrade, right? So let's say I want to do it. Uh, I want to check and see if there's upgrades. So I can do a Terraform initialize dash upgrade. And this will flag all the providers to the latest version consistent with the version constraints previously established in your configuration. So by establishing these in a versions.tf file, it's going to look for upgrades, but it's only going to look for upgrades in like three dot whatever greater than or equal to, or the source three dot zero dot zero. It's going to look. It might find a three uh, dot something. Right, but we're gonna we're gonna look and see. So it's gonna reinitialize the backend, and then it's after it initializes the plugins, it, it it'll tell you if it makes changes on dependencies. So let's go to take a look and see what it does. Make this bigger. Okay, it's finding this. It found this using previous. Using previous doesn't look like there's any issues. Um, I tend to use all of the. And we can check the lock file for that exact versions of whatever it's using. I tend to use the um, the latest and greatest when I when I do stuff, so that's why I didn't have to upgrade anything. But if you did need to upgrade something, you could absolutely upgrade whatever it is that you're trying to do, uh, whatever you're trying to use. So yeah, if you need to upgrade anything, like let's say somebody else um, does a git clone, they're new and they have an old version of Terraform installed on their laptop, and you go to they go to to run something and it says like, hey, your your version's busted, and they say, well, I need to upgrade. How do I upgrade my providers? Um, easy, you just reinitialize with the with the dash upgrade flag, uh, and they'll get whatever. The most uh, recent is within the constraints of what's defined in your versions here. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions about uh, lock and upgrade provider versions and how to find provider versions or whatever, let me know. But if not, uh, consider yourself an expert and uh, go celebrate.